Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today we are going to take a quick look on how we can use our phone as a desktop computer. I don't wanna miss a beat. And And we are back so this will not work on any phone but there are a few on the samsung lineup that will support this technology called samsung dex the one that i've got on my hand is the samsung galaxy s20 fan edition 5g and um it supports this technology obviously and that's what i want to share with you today now there are several ways that we can use we saw a 4k tv from samsung a few days ago and i did share on that particular video that we could use wirelessly the dex the samsung dex technology to use the tv as a desktop for our mobile phone then we can use the phone as a touchpad and keyboard or we can connect our own keyboard and uh, wireless mouse via Bluetooth or we can use dongles adapters to plug in USB uh, keyboards and mouse to uh, take advantage of this now this is probably the best scenario everything wireless a wireless tv a wireless keyboard a wireless mouse and we have a great setup right over here now if you don't own a wireless set you should think about it on your next purchase but if you don't at this moment if you have a tv or a display that has a usb type c uh, connection then you can just plug it in and it will charge the phone as it will give image at the same time and in that particular case we can also just have one cable and then connect the keyboard and mouse via bluetooth and just a great experience now you know that i've got an ultra wide display and you probably are asking hey robert what about the ultra wide can i connect to a ultra wide and the answer is yes but so far i haven't figured out how to use the resolution of the ultra wide now the resolution is there the option is there but i couldn't choose it so i'm not really sure i have to investigate a little bit more if i'm doing anything wrong but the option is there at this moment what i can say is that the image is not the best because it stretches a little bit to get that 16 by 9 to 21 by 9 but hopefully it's something that i will eventually know how to change or if it's a firmware situation then i just need to wait and enjoy it on ultra wide now if you say her robot i don't have a ultra wide i have a normal display and i would like to use it on my workplace where i only have vga or hdmi then yes we can the only thing that we will need to add to our setup is a adapter as we have seen so many adapters right over here uh, usb type c hubs especially those from minix and uh, what i can say is that we just need to plug one of those you just need to decide if you want a hdmi output or a vga output depending on that particular need for your display you will need to choose a usb type c hub to use with your phone after that you can connect a usb mouse usb keyboards and whatever game pads and whatnot or if you want to keep on using wireless devices you can also do that now in terms of practicality in my opinion it's great for that kind of jobs as i do uh, i'm a teacher as you guys know so i can take this to a classroom just connect it to the projector and bam i'm working with a full-fledged computer on my pocket which is just awesome if you are going for a meeting and you want to do a presentation that's another great scenario where you can just be there if they have samsung gear with wireless technology that we can use samsung decks then awesome we don't need any wires we just need to take the phone open the presentation bam and there we go on the other hand if you work in a office for example and you have a display at home you have a display on your office you just need to connect uh, either of one of these ways usb type c or hdmi and then just connect work there when you come home you can just connect uh, on your display keep on working or not depending on your target but it's a great option now in terms of kinds of work we can do everything that we can do on a desktop because sometimes we forget that we have actually a strong computer on our 
pocket it's not the case with all the phones but for example this one right over here i will leave a link down below you can check the specifications this is a beast of a phone with great specifications a really strong hardware that is better than most of the mini computers that we see on the market at this moment of course it's more expensive but if we take in consideration that it's a phone plus a computer then wow it's not a bad deal at all now what we can do as i was say we can work on word document powerpoint presentations for example which is one of my best ways of seeing this kind of technology being used we can also use uh, excel for example sending emails reading emails on a big screen of course if we want to watch netflix which probably it's a stupid idea to give you right now because there are other ways of watching netflix but just the idea if you want to play a game on your display on your tv through your phone then just a great there are a lot of options that we can do with it i could stay here all day boring you with this topic but the point of the video is for those of you that already used samsung dex and you are using it what do you think about it leave it in the comments down below so that we can share ideas and opinions right over here if you haven't used then you know that you have a phone that or you didn't know that you have a phone capable of doing that just go and try it out on your tv on your display and then tell us the experience how awesome is this on the other hand if you don't have a phone capable of doing that and you are thinking about acquiring a phone on the near future then probably if you are wondering if you can uh, save some money and have a great equipment and a great computer that you can take anywhere and then just connect wherever you are probably this is a option to consider and that being said hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated right over here my name is Roberto George and as always see you guys on the next one